I never wear this thing all the way buttoned up and I'm realizing why because on camera this looks ridiculous. People always think that I'm like a fox or like a dog. I've gotten dog before. I don't know why. Where's my tail? You're not gonna be able to see my tail on the camera. I'm a red panda. I don't like I don't know what fox has the black and red coloring where like only their head is orange and then the rest of their body is black or like their back is orange and then like their underside because this will be the underside is black i don't okay this onesie also makes me look flat chested not that i'm not flat chested but it makes me look even more flat chested than i already am so the next book is dragon descendants dragon descendants is 16th on the what are we again list <laughs> i'm tired but in realizing where all of my books lie on my list I can read more of the sequels. I can read more of my books for the next round if I get through the sequels for this round. So if I get all the way up to Evermore, I can read through to the next sweep book because I've already done sweep. How that page number ended up flipped in this, no idea. But um, yeah. Dragon Descendants, Stealing Tranquility by J.L. Well came out in 2018. It's the first in the Dragon Descendants series, and it's it was reverse harm, and I didn't notice that, and I hated myself immediately. <sighs> I put, Lord, it's reverse harm, kill me. Why A, stab me, and romance set me on fire, please. God. There's a girl named Olivia. She's on the street. Her mom's dead. Her future's ruined. She hates... The popular annoying girls she's fun other than fawning over a guy like what makes them annoying the popular the popular girls in her mind are just fawning over a boy what makes them annoying maybe like their constant gushing people who constantly gush but aren't in a relationship with that person that annoys me like if you gush over your mate like your partner i don't mind that but if you're gushing over a person who doesn't even know that you exist that's very annoying so um she walks face first into a dude he's weird but he leaves and then he comes back and because she's too pretty to live on the street so like bad things don't happen to pretty people too um yeah so there are four guys no one tells her why she's there of course because we can't have that they're dragons no one calls her by her name which is really annoying to me maybe that's just I don't know what that is in me, but if your mate never uses your name, like, they just call you out of your- not like they're insulting you, but they never, ever, ever, in any context, use your name, like, that's- that's just weird to me. Like, it makes it seem like they don't know what your name is, like, um, but- Speaking of which, I have to find out how my boyfriend introduces me to people, or like how he talks about me to other people, because I have a name that has a nickname. We only use the nickname. We don't, we never use my full name, unless it's like legal papers. I don't know how that happened. It's just weird. But yeah, I think it's because I have a vendetta against where my name comes from. Not like my parents, but like the place where my name comes from. I have a vendetta against that because it, just makes people make dumb references the entire time. I have one of those names. I think I'm talking about other things because my brain is trying to save me from remembering this book. I don't remember a lot of these books on the wouldn't read again list because it just... Anyway, she knows that she should hate them, Olivia, but um, she, sh she doesn't because her brain goes all fuzzy. So there's a curse. They think she can break it and they aren't giving her a choice. She'll be stuck there if she can't, and she'll never be able to leave. And, like, it's a hundred years, you have a hundred years to break the curse, and, of course, now it's year 99. Ten days till the ceremony, when they find out if Olivia's the one. All the other girls have adjusted, so. Ten days to weird sacrifice, but it's not her, but they all love her, so they want to keep her. And I don't know what the idea would be then also when I put my hand like this and lean the perspective at least on my end makes it look like my forehead is gigantic but I have a tiny head anyway I, I don't know 
Olivia's personality is annoyed or weak when the boys are around her. All of the boys are interchangeable. I don't care about curse number 797. Needs more dragons. Brightest Shadow by Candice Gilmer is right above Dragon Descendants. It's number 15 out of 21. So it's the first in the Mythical Knight series, but it's like a prequel, so is it the first? It wasn't the first written, I don't think. It came out in 2015. Jean Mazar. Romance, urban fantasy, paranormal fantasy, romantic fantasy, and vampire literature. I hate vampires and werewolves so fucking much. I'm writing a story about them, though, so that's kind of funny. Um, David's dad is dead. He's the alpha now. He doesn't want to be the alpha. Fuck it. Kelsey is at a business dinner. It's like a benefit party. David is there, and David wants her. Um, she's human. Kelsey likes him, but David's the CEO, so he can't be with her. Uh, David is a gentleman. Her boss is an ass. She sprains her ankle. David takes her to his house because of why would she want to go to the hospital? Uh, she also won't go to the hospital. She doesn't like being taken care of. Because that's how these Fifty Shades of Grey knockoffs work. For some reason, though, all of them have abandoned the idea that the female should be basically a carbon copy of Anastasia Steele. Which is fair, because book Anna is kind of weak. But they've translated that into, like, this weird exoskeleton that they all have that's tough as nails. Like, not everybody needs to be Sansa Stark by season five. <laughs> not everybody needs to be that. Some of them can be Sansa Stark in season one and get what Sansa wanted at the time. Like... We don't need to be hard. It was a terrible read. I just... Yeah. At that point, though, um, I got to read something that I wanted to read. And we were back to doing sequels until... Um, we won't. I wouldn't be back to doing sequels until I got to after RuneScale. So, yeah. That's fun. I guess you could like and subscribe.